As government employees, DepEd teachers get all the benefits that come with being a public servant in the Philippines. In addition, DepEd teachers also get additional financial incentives and benefits that are unique to their nature of work. In this video, we will talk about these benefits and bonuses. Please note that all the information that will be discussed in this video are accurate in the time of the creation of the video. The Department of Education may apply changes anytime. Please refer to the latest DepEd memos for the most up-to-date information. As part of our benefits, we DepEd teachers are entitled to basic employment benefits. This includes leave privileges, vacation credits, GSIS benefits, and field health membership. Both our field health membership and GSIS premium are taken out of our basic pay. For the GSIS premium, for example, 9% of your basic pay is taken out, and your employer contributes an amount equal to 12% of your basic pay. Now let's go to the performance-based bonuses, or PBBs. The performance-based bonus is an annual incentive given to all government employees who have been assessed to have contributed to the accomplishments of the unit he or she belongs to. In the case of DepEd teachers, the unit is the school he or she is serving. So how can you receive the PBB? To receive the performance-based bonus, the teacher must be serving at least four months as a teacher in the Department of Education at the time of the assessment. The department as a whole must meet all the good governance indicators as stated in the Performance-Based Incentive System, or PBIS. The value of contribution of DepEd teachers is then assessed by their superiors to determine if they are a part of the good performer, better performer, and best performer group. A fourth group, the poor performers, will not receive any incentive under this program. In the screen right now is the employee performance appraisal. Using this table, if your performance rating is included in the top 10 in your unit, this puts you among the best performers. If your unit is within the top 10 of all units in your agency, you will get 35,000 pesos for your PBB. However, even if your unit is performing well but you were tagged as a poor performer, you may not get a PBB. This is how the PBB system works. Related to the PBB is the Productivity Enhancement Incentive or PEI. Contrary to some sources online, the PEI amount is not fixed. Instead, the amount depends on the level of savings incurred by your department and authorized by the national government to fund the PEI. This means that the amount that you receive will vary depending on these factors. Now let's move on to the Personal Economic Relief Allowance or PERA. This is another allowance given to all government employees to augment their take-home pay for the rising cost of living in the country. The bonus amounts to 2,000 pesos per month regardless of rank or performance. This totals to 24,000 pesos per year given to all government employees, including teachers. There are talks to increase the amount of PERA given out every year. However, the laws for these proposals have not been passed yet. Before we proceed, if you are enjoying the video so far, please press the like button below. And if you are an educator, you may also want to subscribe because it's free and so that we can create more videos like this in the future. Next, we have the annual cash bonuses. DepEd teachers are also entitled to receive two bonuses every year and a cash gift. This includes the mid-year and year-end bonus. Both the mid-year and year-end bonuses are equal to one month's basic salary. The mid-year bonus is released in May, while the year-end bonus is released in November. Lastly, we have the cash gift, which is also released in November. Teachers may be entitled to this, which usually amounts to 5,000 pesos. DepEd teachers are also compensated for the things that they need to buy for their profession. This includes the clothing allowance and the teaching supplies allowance, or more commonly known as the chalk allowance. Because DepEd teachers are required to wear the standard department uniform as mandated by the Department of Education, they are given 6,000 every year during the summer break to buy uniforms. For their chalk and other supplies, they are compensated the chalk allowance. As of 2021, the amount for the teaching supplies allowance is 5,000 pesos, which will be given out in the start of the school year. Next, we have the Special Hardship Allowance or SHA. In the past, this varied depending on the degree of difficulty of the assignment. But more recently, this was changed and all SHAs are equal to 25% of the basic pay. The SHA is given to teachers who are assigned in hardship posts. Hardship posts, according to the Department of Budget Management, refer to assignments in areas characterized by extremely hard, uncomfortable, and extreme difficulties. The eligibility of a location as a hardship post is determined by a 0 to 1 index called the Hardship Index. 
The higher the index score of a location, the higher its degree of difficulty or hardship. The index is affected by the following factors. Time of travel between the school and the division office, human violence, availability of temporary learning spaces, levels of poverty, and access to basic amenities. All teachers who are assigned to hardship posts are eligible to apply for this special hardship allowance. In addition, multigrade teachers in pure multigrade schools, mobile teachers, non-formal education coordinators, and ALS or alternate learning system coordinators can apply for the SHA. There are also some types of incentives that are specialized for teachers who stay long in the service. The first one is the loyalty cash incentive. This is given to any permanent teacher or non-teaching employee who has served in the department for at least 10 years and has a minimum satisfactory rating in all of those years. Teacher may receive 10,000 pesos in his or her first 10 years and 5,000 pesos for every five years after that if he or she is eligible. To be eligible, they must not incur more than 50 days of cumulative authorized vacation leaves without pay in the first 10 years. For the succeeding 5 years, they must not use more than 25 authorized vacation leaves without pay, and they must maintain their satisfactory rating in all those years. Another incentive for teachers who stay long in the service is the step increment. Aside from the loyalty cash bonus I discussed earlier, a DEP ed teacher may also be eligible for the step increment. This is an increase in the salary of the teacher within his or her salary grade. This step increment salary increase is given out to employees who receive a minimum of satisfactory rating for three consecutive years. Next is the proportional vacation pay or PVP. The proportional vacation pay refers to the amount received by the teacher during school breaks in the months of April, May, and December. The amount that a teacher receives in these break periods depends on how many absences they may have incurred in the school year. If the teacher did not use any leave credit for the entire school year, he or she will get the full amount for the break periods. The number of days paid by PVP is usually 70 days per year. However, this may change according to the length of the school breaks in that particular year. Absences during the school year will affect your vacation pay. If a teacher is absent for one day, a proportionate amount of money will be deducted from the PVP. To make the computation easier, teachers often use the 3 is to 1 proportion of absences to pay days. For every 3 absences in the school year, an equivalent of 1 day's pay will be deducted from the PVP. And lastly, we have the incentives for the mobile teachers and district alternative learning coordinators or DALCs. We've already talked about the additional bonuses for mobile teachers and the ALCs when I talked about the special hardship allowance. In addition to that, mobile teachers and DALCs may also get the following additional allowances. First, they may get a travel allowance equal to 2,000 pesos per month. Second, they may also get one instructional allowance per school year which amounts to 5,000 pesos as of 2021. 